Hello guys, um, Rafael here. Today, let me share with you how you can track your email addresses. Like, let's say for instance, a customer sends you an email. All right, um, how do you assess it? And um, in case you don't even have any yet, how to create multiple email addresses or emails on your website that you will use to receive mails from your customers or from your prospects all right so to do that uh the very first step here is to log into your uh smart web account all right log into your smart web account all right so you click on services okay so when you click on services you go to uh you click on the standard package so if you are already you already have your c panel you already have your c panel login details you don't need to do this one you just go to your c panel that is your website.com slash cpanel okay so um you locate your cpanel here and log in so the essence of this one is just to directly log in from client area of um, uh, smart web so if you already have your cpanel login details you simply just log in you go to your website.com forward slash cpanel and then log in with your username and password provided uh, to you by smart web if you can't find it Maybe you can't find it on your email again or anything related to that. Come to your email, uh, uh, smart web account right here and click on your name, the hello, and click on the email history. Okay. On the email history, you now click on this second one, the new account information. You click on it. So you'll be able to find within this um, loaded messages that are jam packed like this, you'll be able to find your username and password in it. All right, so that is it. When you're logged in right here, you're logged in right here, you simply locate the emails right here. You can see email, all right? Then you click email accounts. So right here on the email account, if you want to add more emails, it's simple, it's pretty easy to do that. You click on this create, all right? Click on this create. So we click on create, you'll be able to now add an email. Let's say you want to add an email called uh, customer care, customer care at your domain don't put the at just put the customer care your or support or admin anything like that and then you add password that you want to use always generate password here or use your cpanel password so that you will not forget okay and then you copy the this one all right and save somewhere so that you will not forget the password and then you click create so right now you have created your email right your email account so the new one you just created you click on it by clicking this check email so when you click on check email it loads up instantly so it asks you to select which service you want or the application you want to use to access the email so there is hold here and there is round cube so i always take hold of course it loads up like this and then you always get this first cpanel message that uh, for configuration in case you want to use it on external platforms or anything you want to configure your uh, email client or anything on any external platform but you don't need to touch this email you don't use it for you don't need it for anything so whenever a client a customer sends you message now you always come to your email right here and check it out it's pretty easy you log into your cpanel you click on emails and then you come here and select the exact one that you you use so you copy your email you copy the email this is not the one you use on your website like the customer here or your admin ad or your support ad right so you just copy the one you want right you copy the one you want and be using it like the one you created if you created support at your domain.com or you created admin or customer care or anything you simply copy it right and put up on your website for customers or people to reach you on them and then you when you, when you reply them when you get a message right here you simply reply and they will always see it as your domain name all right they are not seen as you as you as a person or a person your personal name they are seeing it as your domain name all right and that is pretty good it shows that you are serious with business you are you know what you are doing all right i hope you enjoyed this um, video and do stay blessed